Okay, in this example, we're going to find the amplitude and period of the given function, and then we're also going to describe any phase shifts or vertical shifts when compared to the corresponding basic trig function. So we've got y equals negative 1 fourth cosine of 1 half x plus pi over 2 minus 1. So to get the amplitude, probably the easiest part, we'll just take the absolute value of the number out front, negative 1 fourth, and that'll give us 1 fourth as our amplitude. Now to get the period, we're actually going to have to rewrite this a little bit. And inside the parentheses, we want the coefficient on the x to be a positive 1. So what we can do, well, we can simply factor the 1 half out. So then 1 half times x would give us, well, 1 half x. And then 1 half multiplied by pi would give us our pi over 2. And the minus 1 is still out there. This is going to be our b value when we do the period. So 2 pi divided by the absolute value of b. So in this case, we'll have 2 pi divided by the absolute value of 1 half. Well, that is just 1 half. 2 pi divided by a half, that's going to give us 4 pi. Same thing as 2 pi multiplied by 2. So there's the period and the amplitude. What else did we want? Uh, we wanted the vertical and the horizontal or the phase shift as well. If we look inside the, well I used brackets here, if we look inside the brackets or the parentheses, that's where we're going to get the phase shift. So in this case, we have x plus pi. That's me, that means uh, if we compare it to the graph of just cosine, uh, well really we should be actually comparing it to cosine of one half x. It's going to be shifted to the left um, to the left pi units, and then the vertical shift. In this case, since we have a minus one out there, the the vertical shift will equal negative one, or it'll be one unit downwards.